You see, you see, the important thing is uh, the court has a discretion to reduce the hearing, uh, the period of hearing as uh, presented in the, the Electoral Act. And that's what I've done because if we are to be given our seven weeks, it means that our petition will be expired. And uh, that will not be in our own interest. So what we have to do is to do case management. Call witnesses that are very material that will uh, enable us establish that what INEC did is very, very unfortunate. And we believe that within the period allocated to us, we should be able to establish that. Notwithstanding that up to this moment, they are yet to give us all the documents we require. I continue to ask, why is INEC behaving in this way and manner? What are they hiding? What are they hiding? They are supposed to be neutral. But they are behaving as if INEC is a candidate in his own election. This should never be so. And that is, Nigeria is the only country where you find something like this. There's no other country. I, 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 I challenge you to go and investigate and find out about electoral bodies in other African countries. Except the only country where you find something like this. There's no other country. I, 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 I challenge you to go and investigate and find out about electoral bodies in other African countries. Except, of course, um, countries under military rule. That's where you may have a different situation. But in Kenya, in Malawi, South Africa, and quite a number of others, they remain neutral. But in Nigeria, you see them frustrating petitioners, preventing petitioners from having access to documents, which is, which, is, which is so difficult to comprehend why this should be so. But they have no choice, because once we start trial, which is on May 13th, we will serve them subpoena. And it comes with an order of court. And they will never decline bringing the documents. Otherwise, they will end themselves punishment because that's an order of court. Um, how do you react to that? And that question is, the tribunal has appealed to Texas. That is how far the operation. And the process of the government actually hoping that the operation has been halted. So what do you say to them not to downplay their work with the government? You see, I'm not confusing the people. We, at no time, did we say we cannot pay. We have letters. I forgot to bring it to you, gentlemen of the press, today. Five letters we wrote them indicating that we are ready to pay to collect the documents. When I'm coming here some other time, I will bring the letters duly received and endorsed by INEC. Why are they telling lies to say that uh, we, we couldn't pay? This is very, very, very unfortunate. What of the documents that we have collected? Did we pay for them? <coughs> of course we paid for them. And they gave us those ones but refuse to give us orders. I give you River State, for example. Now, River State, I understand, has 27, 23, 23 local governments. Election took place in 25th of uh, February. Now, except a few days ago, when they gave us 17, oh, sorry, 15 results, they are yet to complete the results. Close to three months since after the election. You can find out. Why are they holding on to those results? Is it not for manipulation? Of course it's for manipulation. When they are done, for mani when they are done with manipula manipulation, they will not release them. If they have nothing to hide, why not release all the results? Why not release them? Even one month after the election. What is, what, what, why is it so difficult for INEC to release the results rather than playing one prank or the other? You know, until we get into rather than playing one prank or the other. You know, until we get into a trial, we are going to expose them. We will certainly expose them. And I assure you, this trial will be 
Advocacy will be very robust. We will expose them. We will expose them. That's no hiding place. I assure you. So, lastly, what do developers You see, we do not want to jump into a situation where we'll be chasing the shadow and uh, our petition will expire. We don't want to. We don't want to do that. The important thing is, at the end of the day, if the court, if the court rules in favor of our petition, that somebody is right there and see it, it does not mean anything. You will be taken away from the seat. It has happened in Malawi. It has happened in Kenya. These are smaller countries than Nigeria. So I don't see why it cannot happen in our country. Because we will always get our feet wrong. That's a problem. Go back to what has been done. We are looking forward to how to prove our petition. And we believe we are going to prove it. Because if at the end of the day, I said before, the court rules that somebody who is there under the law should not be there. Of course, the court will remove him. What is important is the issue of courage. And that's it. So it's a, it's a, it's a piece of consolidation. The only thing important is that all three petitions they are going to be had together. But each one will maintain his identity. I hope you understand this. Will maintain his own identity at the end of the day. And judgment will be given in respect of each and every one of them. But it's just a matter of convenience to save time. That's why, notwithstanding that up to this moment, they are yet to give us all the documents we require. I continue to ask, why is INEC behaving in this way and manner? What are they hiding? What are they hiding? They are supposed to be neutral. But they are behaving as if INEC is a candidate in his own election. This should never be so. And that is... Nigeria is the only country where you find something like this. There's no other country. I, 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 I challenge you to go and investigate and find out about electoral bodies in other African countries. Except the only country where you find something like this. There's no other country. I, 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 I challenge you to go and investigate and find out about electoral bodies in other African countries. Except, of course, um, countries under military rule. That's where you may have a different situation. But in Kenya, in Malawi, South Africa, and quite a number of others, they remain neutral. But in Nigeria, you see them frustrating petitioners, preventing petitioners from having access to documents, which is, which, is, which is so difficult to comprehend why this should be so. But they have no choice, because once we start trial, which is on May 13. Sorry, 13th, 13th, 13th. May. 13th. We will serve them. <coughs> Sir, who is sitting here? Sir, yes,